residents of Taita Taveta County and the Kenyan Republicans, the Republic of Kenya residents or citizens at large. We have felt that there is need to do a press release on the utterances of Makweni Governor, His Excellency Mutula Kilonzo Jr. on revenue collection by Taita Taveta County in Mtituandei. The County Assembly of Taita Taveta is the county government arm that is charged with the representation of the people of Taita Taveta, pursuant to Article 185 of the Constitution of Kenya. This includes taking up protection of the territory and the rights of the Monainchi of Taita Taveta. It is against this backdrop that the Assembly members feel compelled to respond to remarks made by Makweni Governor His Excellency Mutula Kilonzo Jr. on revenue collection by Taita Taveta County in Mtituandei on 12 December 2022 during Jamhuri Day celebration while condemning such inflammatory remarks. The County Assembly is aware that on 10th October 2022 the Environment and Land Court in Mombasa ruled that the county government of Taita Taveta will continue to be mandated to be the mandated authority to issue business permits and collect taxes in Mtito and and Maknan towns. Following an application by Makweni and Kwale counties to rule that the two towns are within their borders, which sought to have the temporary orders issued on March 23rd set aside. In his ruling, Justice Lucas Naikumi ruled that the applications lacked merit and that he was not satisfied that it warranted set setting aside conservatory orders as per the wishes of Makweni and Kwale counties. He noted that the issue was a boundary dispute used by the three counties to compete for resources and thus subjecting the residents of the two towns to double taxation. You might be aware that the border disputes between Taita and Makweni counties is a long-standing issue which is before the courts of law. The issue has also been taken up by other institutions such as the Council of Governors, which is expected to summon governors of the concerned counties. The border dispute has further led to disputes in issuance of licenses and collection of revenue between the two counties. On 12th December 2022, during the Jamhuri Day celebrations, Makweni Governor His Excellency Mutua, Mutula Kilonzo Jr. was on record using his local language purporting that the border between Taita Taveta and Makweni is at man eaters in Savo and that he will not agree to or allow the residents of Ntito Andei to pay taxes to the county government of Taita Taveta. The governor father alluded to the fact that he will win any case on the border disputes and that no one from outside his county will step in his county to collect revenue. These remarks are not only irresponsible, coming from a leader of his stature, but are also dangerous and inflammatory in nature with the capacity to incite violence at the borders and against our county revenue collectors in Mtito and Day. The remarks were also tantamount to threats against our county. The border dispute is still ongoing and the court has not pronounced itself on the matter. Neither has the National Land Commission issued a stand on the said matter. The Council of Governors has also taken up the matter and is yet to summon the governors of the two counties to present their cases on the issue. It is perplexing, therefore, that the governor of Makweni County would speak so boldly on such a matter, knowing that it stands unresolved. The County Assembly of Taita Taveta particularly the membership. Therefore, on this day, you would like to condemn in the strongest terms possible the remarks by His Excellency the Governor of Makweni County, Honorable Mutula Kilonzo Jr. The County Assembly has one of our members, Honorable Joseph Mwalega, Member of County Assembly Mwatateward, 
seek a statement on the issue on the floor of the House. The Assembly will stop at nothing to ensure that we seek to further consult with our neighbor county, Makueni, on the issue and ensure that the matter is resolved amicably to avoid risking the lives of our people living and working at the disputed border. We further ask the Council of Governors to take a stand against such utterances by its members as it works on the dispute and that it advises its members to avoid making such public declarations that are damaging and are considered to be inciting in nature. As leaders, we must set the pace and, and an example for peace, consultation and cooperation among counties pursuant to Article 6 and 189 of the Constitution of Kenya. In conclusion, we believe that leaders must be responsible with what they say in public and know that their words may have dire negative consequences. We also advise that henceforth, His Excellency the Makueni Governor or anyone else desist from making such remarks going forward as the responsible institutions resolve the existing stalemate as we seek ways of applying alternative dispute resol resolving mechanisms on this issue. Thank you.